COVID-19 A virus discovered on December 31, 2019 in Wuhan, Republic of China, possibly contracted from bats. The disease is caused by a new coronavirus called SARS-CoV-2, also known as Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2. COVID-19 is a transmittable disease through droplets from coughing, sneezing, or discharge of saliva from the nose or mouth. An infected person can show the common symptoms of fever, cough, shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, chest pain, fatigue, muscle and body pain, loss of taste and smell, headache, diarrhea, sore throat, and chills. In rare and usually more severe cases, a person can also experience the following pink eye, rash, discoloration of fingers, as well as loss of consciousness. The symptoms for each person differs and some people, the asymptomatic, do not experience them at all. Because of this, lockdowns, strict social distancing, border closure, and trade restrictions were implemented to try and contain the spread of the virus. With this implementation, Citizens are forced to stay at home and travel outside is greatly reduced which prompted the air quality to greatly improve and the skies to be clearer. The water system is also said to have greatly improved since factories, the greatest contributors to water pollution, were halted during the lockdown. Other species in the wild are said to thrive due to the reduced visit of travelers. With the environment slowly thriving around us, we humans are faced with a slowly crashing economy. According to United Nations, the pandemic is a human, economic, and social crisis. Due to the lockdown, Economy workers were laid off from their jobs and the rate of unemployment has skyrocketed. Almost half the workers in the economic industry are at risk of losing their jobs. The agricultural sector being the most vulnerable. Because of this, our food security is at stake as families are driven further down into poverty. Despite our community and economy suffering due to the pandemic, the environment around us has shown to be bouncing back to health. Albeit a temporary improvement, it is enough proof to show how much our presence is detrimental to the environment around us. With the negative impacts of the pandemic outweighing the positive impact, 
we still have to put an end to our fight against COVID-19 as a globally united community.